So now we'll take a look at our third DML statement, which is delete. Create a new method here. And I want to delete an opportunity, which is basically closed lost. Okay, that's the use case. Delete all opportunities, which are marked closed lost. Okay, how do I do it? How do I first of all find all the opportunities which are marked closed lost? I have to write a circle query? True. Will that be a list of opportunity because it can contain multiple? Yes, it will be a list of opportunities, right? So I'll say closed lost ops equals, I'll create a query. I'll say select ID from opportunities where stage name equals closed lost let's save it what am i trying to do i'm trying to find all the opportunities that have basically been marked closed lost right now if this list has any value meaning the size would be greater than zero only then i want to run a delete statement the delete keyword and i want to delete or everything that is inside this list save straightforward as simple as that does that make sense but i'm getting an error what is the error let's see closed lost ops i've written closed list ops so just this typo save okay so the save is working fine let's quickly query and see how many opportunities do we have so i'll run the same query see it's always safe to check your query is it running as expected so i'll copy this query I'll go here in the query editor. I can simply put my query and say execute. So no queries, no results are there. Okay. So let's take a look at which opportunities with what stage do we have in our system. Let's get rid of the where clause. And let's take a look at all the opportunities. So I see a lot of closed one. I see some with perception analysis, some with negotiation review, some with qualification. So let's pick up qualification okay and what we will do essentially is we'll basically tell the method that give us the stage name okay so I'll, i'm fetching the stage name from let's say some ui some flow some some front end and then the apex method is getting called with the stage name okay so now i can map the stage stage name it will not have to be static all right so this right here is the field name field api name and this right here is the variable name that has passed as part of the method sounds good Let's say save and let's quickly take a look at where stage name equals qualification. How many such opportunities do we have? Three. Okay. Refresh. It's three. All right. Now I'll call this method. Those three opportunities should get deleted. Right. So I'll simply say handle delete scenario. And I'll pass the stage name qualification all right let's go ahead and say execute first of all let's see if it runs fine it did run fine and now if i take a look at my query i should not see any more records i'll refresh my grid all the records have been deleted from the system okay so this is how a delete operation works all right. How did we delete? We did a bulk delete, meaning we were able to delete three records. If we had done it one by one, it would be three DML statements. Instead, we were a bit smart. We created a list variable and deleted all three as one transaction, as one, one uh, DML operation. Okay. That is why bulk operations are important because you get a very limited set of DML statements as part of your limits. Mm -hmm.